Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Night Rider, aka 40 Shades, aka your sister from another mister. You guys like that? I did too. But thank you guys for watching This Be Trucking. Today I'm coming to you guys with a story, not necessarily a story, but more of a testimony. For those of you guys that maybe not been in church or know of the church, um, there's a segment in the beginning of service where you will report some type of trial or tribulation that you've been dealing with and you happen to have like a, a good report, a praise report, or something came out positive about the whole thing. So you wanted to let everybody know what you've been through and then how God brought you through. Now I'm gonna start off, uh, we picked up our load yesterday or last night and uh, I wanna say it was in Virginia and we took 64 to Lexington, Kentucky. Now, as I was driving that direction, I seen the forecast saying it was gonna be some bad weather and to be prepared. So usually throughout the night, this will get up and check, you know, see how I'm doing and, you know, kind of see what's going on with the weather. And when he seen the weather, he said, well, why don't you go ahead, since you haven't took your 30 minute break, find somewhere to pull over and then we'll just kind of, you know, assess what we'll do next. So after a few minutes, I found a rest, I mean, excuse me, a truck stop. And once we got parked, we looked at it and it looks like the storm, I was gonna drive right into the storm. So he said, well, why don't we just stay here, give it a couple of hours and let the storm come through. Okay, no problem. So once we got parked, you know, we kind of hung out in the back, but he ended up going to sleep. But as the time came, when the storm was supposed to be there at 2.30 that morning, nothing ever came through. So then 3.30 came then 4 30 and then by that time it was going like 5 15 and still no storm so i'm like well i better get up because you know we still have to get this low here for this appointment time at seven o'clock on wednesday so as i got up i started driving not too bad but i want to say 50 miles down the road there was the storm so of course now i'm running into it the wind is picking up it's starting to rain a little bit harder but i continue on you uh 64 now I'm going through Louisville, Kentucky, and then now I'm going further down. But as I, you know, kind of kept going, I'm starting back in the hilly section. And all of a sudden it started to rain really hard, you know, making it hard to see. Of course, you got your super truckers. They're out there in the left lane, speeding all fast, you know, on top of each other. So I'm like, well, let me back up because if somebody messes up on this left lane, it's going to cause some type of, you know, accident. So I backed up. And during that whole time frame, I'm kind of giving myself, you know, a distance. I'm going about 50 miles per hour because in the rain, I don't play. You know, it's still wet. I have 42,000 pounds behind me and it's hilly. So I, I take my extra precaution. But behind me, as I'm checking my mirrors, I noticed there was a car behind me. But I could never see exactly what car it was. So as I keep looking on, you know, my left mirror, my right mirror, this car is steady more behind me. And he's close, you know, it's close enough that I can't see it. So I'm like, oh man, is that, you know, I'm thinking it's the police or, you know, DOT. So, you know, okay, now I'm slowing down further because I'm like, well, whoever it is, is right up on me. And if I stop, they're going to slide into my bumper in the back. And so I kept going and now it's heavily raining. I'm thinking, okay, well, I got to find a truck stop. I got to get pulled over. And as I kept driving, there was a uh, pilot exit 92. And so as I'm pulling over, this same vehicle is still behind me, but I can never quite see it because it's still up, up, up on me. Now, as I pull off and get up the on-ramp, you know, I'm getting ready to turn left to go to the pilot, but I look to my right side and there goes the car. So I'm like, okay, she rolls her window down and I thought maybe she was gonna say, well, your tail light is out or something's going on in the back of your trailer. So I rolled the window down. So she said, thank you. And I'm like, huh? She goes, thank you. Thank you for getting me safely home. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, at the moment, I didn't know what she was talking about, but come to find out that she was following me from where we had met all the way to that exit. And she turned right to go safely home. So I guess the, you know, the trailer was the shield of the heavy rain protected her the whole time she got home and she was thankful that I got her home. So that, you know, that really touched my heart because all she, what she didn't know is I was trying to get myself safely to a place and pull over and she was behind me trying to get herself safely to get home. 
So once that happened, you know, I turned off, got to the pilot, and this we got up, and he's like, so, you know, what's going on? I said, well, I'm about to drive into the storm again. There's another the storm that we was waiting for is finally here, so I'm a park. And he looked at the map, he goes, oh, it's just a little bit, you know, you, you'll drive right through it, and I'm seeing this. I mean, the, the, the screen is red. I know, it's like, if I go through this, it's not gonna be good if I keep driving with this weather condition. So he's like, all right, just go and go to the parking. You know, we're going to wait it out. So as we parked over and waited it out, it's like uh, it's raining and this is lightning and thunder where you can see it through the truck and it's rumbling and shaking. So I'm like, you know, I'm trying to get up under the covers. I'm up under him. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, it's getting down. So it had to be maybe about an hour and a half, two before it was officially over. And so, you know, this be by this time it was his shift. So he kind of started to drive and then he took over and I went to bed later on today basically we get to driving you know it's my shift you know I started about four o'clock and we're heading down I-70 coming up towards um, Hayes Kansas now he's in the back mind you you know watching DVDs you know his movies and stuff and um, I'm driving and I noticed there was a sign that says um, I-70 Hayes Kansas closed take alternate route so I was like, hey, babe, I just drove past the sign and saying that um, I-70 is closed. And he's like, oh, for what? So he goes on to the map. And if you guys haven't seen our Instagram page, it actually shows a closure. So it, it was a closure that was probably, God, I know it's a couple of cities. I'm not sure how, maybe, I don't know, 5, 20 miles. I don't know. Don't quote me. But it was blocked. And so he went to the website to find out exactly what it was. And I guess earlier that day, the wind was blowing so hard between Joaquini, Kansas and Hayes, Kansas, that it got up to 80 miles per hour, which caused, you know, this is what the report, some reports say three trucks, another report said a 20 car, a 20 semi pileup crash in that vicinity, closing I-70 down. So we actually had to get detoured. That took us maybe about 60 miles out of route. But the testimony is, as I kind of regress, <laughs> go back, if it wasn't for us pulling over the day before, you know, the three to four hours because of that storm, and then if it also wasn't for this morning storm that we put over for two hours, we would have been, you know, probably in that same storm getting to our destination. I mean, we got here probably about maybe, maybe five to seven hours late, but we had a little cushion in our load. But we would have been mixed up in all this wind and all this semi. So I was just so thankful that God, you know, allowed the day happen the way it did that caused us to be delayed. Because I'd rather get an outer route mile any day than be stuck in some type of construction. So that's my testimony. We made it safe. I'm here at the Colby, Kansas uh, pilot here off of I-70 after the reroute. And I'm taking my 30 minute break. Uh, just to kind of get my thoughts together and do my video but um, if you guys get a chance um, and you might not be religious and I'm not putting on anyone but you know before I start my shift I always grab the wheel and I always say a prayer before I go you know Lord protect me as I drive the night shift you know watch over what's seen and unseen protect me over weather construction other drivers uh, animals in the road things in the road that I don't see but give me the calmness and, you know, to be on the road and get us safely to our destination. And, you know, whatever you say may be different, but from, from my own safety, that helps me to get through each night. And I say it every day because I need that comfort to know that as I'm driving the night shift, I got that hedge of protection over my tractor and trailer for me and my husband. So, on that note, please make sure you guys like, comment, and share. And if you had not, hit the notification button please do and also next week is the truck show we will be there in dallas texas at gats so if you guys are planning to come through leave comments down in this video um we'll be actually meeting up with some other couples like beauty and the beast and married to the miles so we would love to put some faces to those names that we need to talk to on youtube and um you know chop it up and have some fun but until next time you guys have a great night I'm going to go ahead and get back on this run on I-70 so I can make my appointment.